everybody, this is Denise with PurplePaperParadise.com and today I'm here with another Sure Cuts A Lot 3 video. And I'm doing this video because I had a request from somebody to, they wanted to make one of my shaped cards and they couldn't quite figure out the steps to use in Sure Cuts A Lot. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how that works now. You can see here on the screen that I've brought in a layered SVG file from Lettering Delights. This is from the Best Witches um, SVG Cut It Set. And um, what happens here in Sure Cuts a lot, if you'll notice, is that everything gets grouped together and you have all of your layers listed here individually. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually copy it and I'm going to paste in place and I'm going to move my second set down here for later. And we're going to start with working with this one. Now, if we notice in our group that we do have a blackout layer here at the bottom. Um, so what we can do is we can actually copy that and use that for our base. But I'm going to show you this as if you don't have that blackout layer. Um, because that was the situation that this lady who emailed me had. So what we would need to do first off is since this is, a, is in a group, is we need to break it apart. And so now you can see that all of our layers have been broken apart and we can select all of them just by click and dragging over them. And then we can go to um, Path Union. And that's going to give us one outline shape. And this is a complete blackout as before. Like on this one, if we go look at this, it's giving us a shadow a uh, shape here at the bottom but you can see like the handle isn't blacked out so you would need to do that individually okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to select this and we're going to copy and paste in place again okay so now with just my one layer selected here what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it and you can see that the lines are a little bit off when you flip it and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to use these nudge buttons to nudge it over. Or what you can do is you can use your X coordinate up here and move it over that way. So if I say, for example, I'm going to move it to the 3 inch X mark, you can see now that it moves all the way over there. And then you're still lined up with your Y because your Y coordinates are exactly the same for both of these. Now I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so that we can see better if our layers are overlapped and it looks like they are now you could choose to put an additional basic shape in here to get a straight edge on this particular one I think I'm going to leave it as is but um, they are just slightly overlapped so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to nudge it over just a little bit more maybe not even that much like that there and now we can go ahead and we can select all both of the shapes and again do a path union. So now when I zoom out, we can see that we have our layered shaped card here. And we can actually select these layers and bring them up here so that they fill. Now I think with this card, because these layers fill up that card completely, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually shadow this entire bottom layer. And you have a couple different uh, shadow options here, but I'm going to choose the shadow rounded. And you can see that that made my card base a little bit bigger. And now when I place this on here, it gives a nice little shadow to it. And that helps when you're doing your score mark here. Um, so that you're not actually scoring through your layers. You're actually just scoring the card base. So that is a quick tutorial on making a shaped card in Sir Cuts A Lot 3. It really is quite easy. It's just knowing that you've got to break apart those um, layered files and then where to go to flip it and nudge it around, which is over on your properties panel over here on your right hand side. So I hope that helps some of you out. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. And I have lots of videos available on my blog, purplepaperparadise.com. Thanks for watching.